Hello and welcome to Turning on the TV in Seaside 215A. You'll notice that this is a Roku Smart TV which will allow you to use all of your favorite streaming services as well as utilizing this Spectrum cable television. Let's get familiar with the remote quickly. Here on the top you'll see the power button, back and home buttons as well as the up, down, left, right and OK select buttons. On the bottom you can see that you can quickly access all of your favorite streaming services and then on the side, you have the volume up, down, and mute buttons. This remote will help us turn on the television. Let's go ahead and do that now. As this television is coming on, you'll notice that you are greeted with welcome, enjoy your stay, and you can select a check out date. This is important because whenever you are checked out, it will automatically sign out of all of your favorite streaming services so no one else can use them. Let's go ahead and press the OK Select button to go ahead and select the day that you'll be checking out. Using the select up, down, left, right, and OK select buttons, we're going to find the day that we're going to be checking out. Once you find the correct one, hit the OK select button. Here on the bottom, you'll go to the checkout. And while this is setting up, this is a perfect opportunity for you to go and find all of the login credentials for your favorite streaming services. As this finishes up, you'll be able to have any kind of selections to watch what you'd like to and be able to automatically sign out of them before you leave. We're going to also get a moment to be able to get familiar with the Spectrum Cable Television. As this TV menu has come up on the left, you'll notice that we have Home and all the other options. We're going to use the right select button. You've got the cable box. We'll get to that in just a moment. But then you also see Netflix, Amazon, and all of your, of your other favorite streaming services. When you want to get to one of those, you can press the right select button and then go over and press the OK button to go to that service. As you're getting onto that service, you'll be prompted to put in your user credentials and then you can watch whatever you'd like to there. Let's go ahead and go back to the cable box by pressing the left select button and the OK select button there in the center. Now we need to use our Spectrum Cable Television remote. Down here is our Spectrum Cable box and you'll notice there's no white light on the right hand side. That white light will indicate if that spectrum cable box has turned on or not. Here on the upper right hand corner we need to press the power all button and you'll notice that white light comes on and we're able to watch TV. I'm turning down the volume right now with the Roku Smart TV remote by pressing the down button to turn down the volume. With the spectrum cable television remote I can now go through and use the guide buttons, mute as well, page up, page down, and last buttons to be able to go through and select whatever I'd like. Here you'll also see the up, down, left, right, and OK select buttons to select whatever you'd like to watch. Let's press the guide button, which will get us into the interactive guide to be able to select what we'd like to watch. Here you can use the down, up, left, and right buttons to go through and select something or the page down and page up buttons to go through quickly. Once you find something that you'd like to watch, you can go through and press the OK Select button and that channel will come up on the television. As you want to turn up the volume, you can do that with the smart television remote here with the volume up and down as well. Once you're done watching anything on the Spectrum cable box, you can press the back button to get into the main home menu of the smart television. Right now your spectrum cable box is still turned on and that white light is turned on. If you'd like to turn that off you can use the power all button and you'll notice that that white light has gone off as well as the cable box uh, preview has gone off on the television as well. Lastly if you'd like to turn off the television you can use the power button on the top of the smart TV remote and that powers off. Enjoy your stay.